passive house. They're always ugly, aren't they, Joseph? It is a very, very unfortunate perception that a lot of people have. Yeah. I can understand that why a lot of people would have that perception because traditionally, most of the showcase passive house from the early development stage, they were more engineering focused they try to use the lowest budget to achieve the highest performance. Mm -hmm. So they oversimplify the entire design to make it, a lot of people think it's not articulated enough um, in terms of their architectural expression. Mm -hmm. I can somehow agree on that from the early examples. Mm -hmm. But when you have a deeper understanding of Passive House and involve a lot more architects mm -hmm. to participate in the design and implementation of the passive house, we should be able to wipe this stigma out completely. Because as some of the houses that we already have videos on, yep. you can use practically any kind of material. Mm. It, it doesn't um, compromise the performance. Mm. You can change the form and shape of the house. Mm. Sometimes when you have a highly articulated form, mm you may need to work harder to achieve the performance, but it is doable. Mm. So architects, pay attention, learn more about Passive House and work with it to clear the name. So it's about trying to work out different ways of protecting the building envelope, isn't it? That's what it basically ends up being. Protecting the building envelope and work on the continuity of both the air tightness barrier and the insulation. The more articulation, the more change in form and junction, the more difficult to achieve that, but it is all doable. <laughs>